Where are they? Christian Bale, you won the last Derpy Q. Congratulations, Christian Bale. You know what to do. Hit me up. Guys, real quick, before we get into Bubble Mew and all the hottest cards of the week and recapping all of last week's Scarlet and Violet freaking hot cards at the end of the video, because half the recap and update is Scarlet and Violet 151 cards. Eh, but Bubble Mew, baby. Bubble Mew. Mew is my favorite Pokemon. What's your favorite Pokemon? Let me know in the comments below. But also type in Derpy if you want a Derpy Q. Okay, guys, guys. Blooming Waters. Is there any way the Pokemon Company at the last second can just go in and tweak that a little bit? I know they probably already got like some trademarks. They probably already got the boxes made, but Blooming Waters literally sounds like some kind of bacterial disease that would spring up in a hot tub if it wasn't clean for a long time. Ooh. Anyway, anyway, all right, all right. So yeah, so uh, yeah, Christian Bell again. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, guys. On Halloween, I will be giving, let, let me clarify, the Halloween night video is the one that you will comment on to be entered to win that Dragonite V alt art. PSA 9, courtesy of not Christian Bale, but Christian Dale. Yeah, I got Christian Bale and Christian Dale in today's video. All right, let's get into uh, this week's hottest cards. All right, here we go. Yeah, I took it off. I just, I have a feeling I'm gonna get real sweaty in today's video. I, it's gonna get a little sweaty, okay? Because I have a thing for illustration rares, and there's so many illustration rares. Uh, okay, oh, by the way, the best deal banger this week. I, I got a best deal banger, which is always at the end of the video, which is like a really popular, expensive car that's cheaper than ever or whatever, and I'm letting you know if it drops in price a lot. So I have that. But I also have kind of another best deal banger, which is more of like an investment, like a literal just straight up invest in these cards and yeah so that'll be at the end of the video and yeah they're actually cards that are up considerably in the last two weeks and i'm still telling you i think you should buy them so yeah that'll be at the end of the video all right here we go here's the bubble mew look how perfectly well, i guess every bubble is a perfect circle anyway uh bubble mew is up to 153 dollars and 93 cents and guys i am literally recording this video editing it quickly and uploading it so this is definitely friday night prices i am uh, a little late on this i'm a chronic procrastinator i'm a late night youtuber okay 153 we know this let's uh that's an all-time high let's look at that year there you go 130 that was like pre -re i mean that was like right at release that was almost pre-release so we are well beyond an all-time high and now guys real quick i just want a quick quick little thought process i just want you to think about this so mew EX, Palais and Faith, has skyrocketed past the Charizard, right? Charizard is only like 108 or 109. And this Mew is, you know, way more now the Palais and Faith's like certified chase card. It's a Mew, not Charizard. Even though Charizard is probably the best Charizard from the era. Now, what I want you to think about, just think, think about this. Imagine Scarlet and Violet 151, the Mew SIR in the UPC. And you could say the Mew 2 IR as well. Just imagine, okay, if the Mew from Scarlet and Violet 151 was actually in Scarlet and Violet 151. What, what do you think how that would change things over the last year? Do you think that Mew, instead of being a $9 promo, do you think that would be the Scarlet and Violet chase card? Or do you think it would be Sunzard or Chonky Boy, as I like to call him? I have a feeling that if that... People love that Mew. I'm just saying, if that Mew was actually in Scarlet and Violet 151, I think that card would already be $200. And we could have a scenario where two Mews were beating out two Charizards as the chase cards in a set that has Charizards. I don't know. It's called Scarlet and Violet 151. Mew's 151. I'm just saying. All right, let's 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 uh, move on. I've been sitting on the screen for a while. Sorry, but just imagine if that Mew SIR was actually in Scarlet and Violet 151. What do you think it would be worth? Let me know in the comments below. Ralts, okay? Ralts is up. All right, now we're starting at the beginning. I already looked through Crown Zenith. There's Crown Zenith is doing okay. Just nothing specifically shooting up right now. But as far as base set, uh, yeah, so Ralts is doing pretty good. Ralts says 1717. I told you I was going to get sweaty. I'm talking a lot. I'm, I'm not even looking at average daily sold. I'm just blabbing. Okay, so Ralts is doing really good. There's the one year. There's your one year. 17, 17, one month. It's good. Is this an all-time high? No, it's not because we already know it went up to... It actually hit like 20 bucks. It says 18, but Ralts definitely tapped like 20 uh, just a couple months ago. Ralts doing great. And by the way, Ralts is like a dollar away from being the second most valuable card. You know, because like Miriam's up a little... Uh, or no, Gardevoir's up, Miriam's down. Ralts is almost as much as Miriam. So Ralts is almost the second most valuable card right now from base set. And then guess what? Drowsy 
Here's almost the third most valuable card from Scarlet and Violet base set now. Drowsy's up to $12.39. This is a Comeo Masterpiece. This is my favorite card from this set. And let's look at the one year. So a lot of these early Scarlet and Violet era cards, like we're about to get into some more Paldea Evolved IRs, Scarlet and Violet IRs. <clears throat> a lot of these cards are just gaining value. Like a little bit of, you know, the cheaper cards that are just gaining two, three, four, five dollars and just consistently over a year. So that, there's your drowsy, just very consistent. There's your six month, your one month, all that right there. And again, this is an all time high. Oh, well, no, it's not. Hit tw September? Did I have him? I must, I don't know. Anyway, it's almost an all time high. My bad. Okay, whatever. Let's get on to Fue Coco. So Fue Coco is, let's just go right to the one year. Yes, Fue Coco is a legitimate one year high. I don't think Fue Coco at release was ever this high. No, yeah, I don't believe it was at all. So yeah, 14 bucks essentially. Uh, five average daily sold. Meh, meh, meh. But yeah, it looks. I, I like this card, and this card is very similar and doing very well. As well, basically both of them. Here we go. I'm just gonna get right to it. Sprigatito, Sprigatito. 1346. Here's your one month. It, it was as low as 11. It's at 1346. It's a little less average daily sold on the one month. But both of these, so that one was up 16% on the one month, and Foy Coco was up 13%. Yeah, so Sprigatito up just a little bit more on the one month. But both these starters, Scarlet and Violet starters, doing very well. Hey, guess what? This is my favorite Sage 1 Pokemon. I've said that a lot of times on this channel, and I own how many of these in Japanese? Way too many, and I paid only like four bucks each, and I bet you the cards only were two bucks. But guess what? Gloom, this card has always been one of my favorite IRs. I bring it up often on this channel. And let's go to the one month real quick. It's up to $6.40, which is a 34% increase on the one month chart. And it actually has an average daily sold of 13. Pretty good for a not playable, purely collectible card. I, I believe it's purely collectible. Um, but yeah, this has always been just one of my sleeper favorite cards. Anytime I see anything from uh, Obsidian Lames going up, makes me happy. Absolutely makes me happy. Groudon. Okay, guys. Guys, first of all, Groudon is firmly past Roaring Moon. At, 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 you know, as established, they were they were neck and neck, flipping back and forth. But now, it's like twelve or fifteen dollars more than Roaring Moon SIR. And here's the thing. So we, for those of you that have followed my channel, you know, way back in the beginning of the year, I kind of made a little bit of waves, got a little bit of publicity. For screaming in a YouTube video that this card, when it was 30 bucks, is about to be 60 bucks, and it actually went up to 70, um, and it happened way quicker than I thought. So yeah, I made a video. I was like, look, and I came up with all these reasons, blah blah blah, and I was like, look, would you rather buy this card now for 35 or not buy it because you're hoping it goes down to 30 and then watch it shoot up to 60? And it literally did exactly what I said. It's super creepy. But the reason I'm bringing that up again is because one, I try not to make predictions like that unless I'm like certain for whatever reason. But this chart on this Groudon, let's talk about Paradox Rift and Paleo Evolved for a sec. There are no two sets in the Scarlet and Violet era that could be possibly more identical than Paradox Rift and Paleo Evolved. They are literally so identical that Paleo Evolved has 36 IRs, Paradox Rift has 35. Uh, Paleo Evolved has 16 SIRs, Paradox Rift has 15. And you can go all the way down the list. The only major difference between the two is that Paradox Rift has an increased difficulty in SIR pull rates. The IRs are the same. So your 1 in 35 or your 1 in 36, Groudon and Magikarp, okay, are both very much essentially just as hard to pull. Magikarp has the very popular artist and artwork going behind it, whereas Groudon just has great artwork going behind it. All I'm saying is this chart, plus all the crap I just said, don't be surprised if Groudon you know, I don't know. I'm not going to say next week like last time. And I didn't say that. It just happened. I'm just saying, don't be surprised if this Groudon IR is a $75 or $80 card or even a $90. You know, it, I wouldn't even be shocked if this Groudon ends up being a triple-digit $100 card someday. Okay? It's definitively the Paradox Rift Chase card. Paradox Rift has 35 IRs. This one is everyone's favorite. Let's move on. Greninja. So Greninja's way... <laughs> To say Greninja bounced back would be the biggest... Greninja hopped. Greninja did what frogs do. Like, literally, 220, 
301 moonshot, right? And everyone's like, oh my god. And then all the way down to 260, and I was wondering if it would hit 230. It did not. And now we are at an all-time high with the ninja, okay? The greedy one, the ninja one, the Greninja one. $316.64. By far the most valuable, <clears throat> you know, this is $125 more than Chonky Boy is right now, okay? Greninja is, to all you Twilight Masquerade haters, to all you not Greninja lovers, I don't think there's any Greninja haters, but there's not Greninja lovers, Greninja not lovers. Uh, it's just, yeah, this era is doing amazing. Twilight Masquerade's doing amazing. This card is doing, it is the, so resilient for it to be up 10% on the year when it already cracked 300, and now it's three, I, I'm just saying, like, Mew and, and Zardy Boy, Sunzard, and now, we need to, do we have a, a nickname for Greninja, this SIR yet? Because we have Sunzard, we have Bubble Mew. This thing's getting too, too expensive to not have a good nickname. All right. Let's get into Stellar Crown, because finally, we all knew this was going to happen. These two cards, and you already know what the other one is I'm about to bring up. What else would it be? So, on the one month, we are up about 10%, but on the one week, we are from 40 all the way up to about 46 or $47 with Squiddo. So, Squiddo uh, and Pidgey. So all, of them, all of them have the Pidgeys, okay? I thought I would like the Squirtle more than the Bulbasaur. But there's just too much brown and blue in the Squirtle and the tub, they, or the pool, they all get kind of lost. Whereas the Bulbasaur, I think, has more distinct coloring across the card, so I actually like the Bulbasaur a little more. But your average daily sold on the one month is 30, and again, it's $46.74. Now let's look at Belba. Belba. It's his average daily sold on the one month is 28. So they're almost identical in average daily sold, 28 and 30. And Bulbasaur again is now uh, $35.78. So we are about basically, it's basically it was at 30 bucks the whole time it came out. And it just creep, 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 creep. But then you can see it kind of cracked. Creep, 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 and then cracked 35. So both Squirtle and Bulbasaur, um, a little a little bit of Hydrapple SIR, but they're essentially the only two Stellar Crown cards actually really going up at all. Um, oh, how funny is this? Okay, look. For those of you that watch this series, week in and week out, you know, we've been doing this for five, six months now. This card, or whatever, this card was the poster child for this series every Friday, right? Every single week, like, the amount of numbers it had on the recap board. And then finally, for two weeks, it does nothing, so I say goodbye to it. Next thing I know, it's three days later, and Danny Phantom is talking about Armored Mewtwo and how it's way over $100. Where did this come from? Oh, my God. Like, literally, I spend four straight months talking about this card, and I bring it all the way to the door that says 100 bucks on it. It won't go in. And I say, fine, I don't want you. Drop it off. Danny Phantom picks it up, and now it's $110. Thanks, Danny. All right, this is your card now, Danny. Congrats. But yeah, Armored Mewtwo, cracked 100. I don't think it's going much higher. We all saw, if you watched my series week in, week out, it took forever just to get from 70 to, you know, up 40 bucks. So it's just a slow creep, very low volume card that did get clearly eight. I don't know if you count eight as a buyout, but when its average monthly volume is one or two, you can call that a buyout. All right, guess what? We're on the best deal banger. So first of all, here's the actual best deal banger. Uh, Charmeleon actually tanked hard this week. So as far as actual value go, Charmeleon was always a 16, 18, $20 card. Now you can get Charmeleon for $13.78. So, you know, that's cool. But here's your investment best deal banger. Here's the idea that I'm going to give you. Uh, so, yeah, all these Pokemon Center promos, everybody's talking about them. You know, it is what it is. My idea to give you as an investment is any single one of these that you see that is under $20 is probably a pretty decent pickup as far as long-term hold and best. If you want to do the long-term investing with raw Pokemon cards, Iron Bundle, Petrant, Teal Mask Overcon, Screamtail, Mimikyu, all of these are between $14 to $20, and I think all of them are good long-term holds, okay? I even think the Crydon and Maridon at 30 and 32 are a great buy. Is seriously up as pikachu is which we'll get on we'll update here in just a minute because it's on last week's hottest you know the recap 
I even think this card of 40 bucks isn't a crazy bad buy. I think all these stamp promos are going to do very, very well long term. All right, let's get in the recap and then let's get out of here. So Charmander IR, Scarlet and Violet 151 was 44, 45. Now it's down to 42, 67. Squirtle IR, Squirtle down to 31, kind of a big drop off from 37 all the way down to 31. Charmander, the PC promo from Obsidian Flames. The stamp promo is now up to almost $72. That is an all-time high, and it's good enough for, if you count the Squirtle from the 151 UPC, that is the third, and you don't count, all right, all right, whatever. It's like the second, as far as the actual ETBs, it's the second. Most expensive behind Snorlax, Dragonair, IR, 25 bucks, 24.47 from 151. Charizard, uh, the embossed, most incredible full art ever. Ah, that is, where is he at? $41.11, Charizard EX SIR, Chonky Boy Sunzard down to $193, that's not too surprising, Basic Metal Energy, Hyper Rare from Shroud Fables, $25, bucks. probably going to fall off yet, yeah, it's $25, $25, I'm going to knock that off, Snorlax promo, I just brought it up, it's all time high, it's basically $100, $98.14, Moonbreon is up to $1,022, guys, oh my god, Moonbreon. Doesn't matter how many of those are graded into PSA 10. I don't think population even matters anymore. At least not with modern. Maybe with vintage, but not with modern. <laughs> Charizard EXSIR, uh, Obsidian Flames, $55. That is a very recent all time, well, almost, is it like, is it like a one year high? It, it just, it just pretend it's a one year high, because all the highs are basically at release. Any, anything higher than 55 on that Zard is at release for sure. Walking Wake EXSIR. Every single Pokemon Temporal Force SIR is an absolute banger, 100% all of them, even Iron Waves, you name it, Iron Boulder even, but Walking Wake is probably the best, I don't know, it's $60.52, that's an all time high, Deerling fell off a little after shooting to the moon basically, passing up Sazbuck last week, down to $9.37, Ducks Nor IR is down a little bit, $28.85, so that's playability related, the two promos, Vaporeon, Sword and Shield promo, 41.75, that's sideways. Jolteon VMAX Sword Shield promo, 42.85, that's sideways. Whatever, I might knock both those off. I don't think they're going much higher right now. Magikarp IR down just a little, the 123 and 124. T-Tar is up just a little, 45 bucks essentially. Nine, and Raichu still at 30 bucks. Raichu ain't moving right now. Ninetales is almost worth as much from 151 to full art. Is almost worth literally as much as the Blastoise full art. Seriously, Ninetales is sixteen dollars eighty-four cents. Almost at a, I mean definitely all-time high. Literally almost as much as Blastoise and Venusaur. Pikachu Pokemon Center promo. We just uh, I kind of looked at that a little bit on the investment best deal banger thingy, but that is forty-one dollars and eighty cents. Now guys, the uh, Pikachu gray felt hat. Uh, yeah, I hate this card, but it's to the moon. 138.06, up from 118, up from 104. So three weeks in a row, bang, bang, bang. It's going up. Pikachu IR from 151. The, we're gonna finish off with 151 again. Uh, 25.67, Blastoise SCR down a little, just to 72 bucks. Venusaur si up just a little to 72 bucks. So yeah, so you got Charizard at 193 or whatever. You got Blastoise, Venusaur, both at 72. And we had no best price banger last week because it was just a weird, very Scarlet and Violet heavy episode. But yeah, so there you go. That's all I got, guys. Uh, so yeah, comment Derpy if you want to win one of my Derpy cues. I got a few left. I only made six. And yeah, and then, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe every single time, all the time. Watch the video on Halloween. Comment on that video if you want a very good shot to win a Dragonite. V, Sword and Shield Altar, PSA Mint 9. See you guys later. Deuces. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it!